Good morning. Welcome to our assembly this morning. Welcome to those who've joined us before and welcome also to those who are joining us for the first time. Each day we're going to have a Bible story, a song and some activities. We hope you enjoy them. When I was about six, my family were on holiday. In a shop, I saw a snow globe that I really, really wanted to buy, but I didn't have enough money to buy it. My brother was about nine at the time, and he offered to give me the rest of the money so that I could buy this souvenir. The amount was about the same as three weeks pocket money. Even at the time, I couldn't believe how generous my brother was being. My parents just happened to capture the moment of him offering to pay the rest on camera. And now we have a photo hanging on the wall at home of me and my brother walking side by side down a country lane, discussing how I was going to pay for the rest of the snow globe. Your tiny little drop of God's love, God's love How cool that I get it all Like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me Don't just get a dollar for a spot You're a tiny little drop of God's love, God's love How cool that I get it all Like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me I don't get less if I make a mess I never get less than this very, very best This love for me is totally You're a tiny little drop of God's love, God's love How cool that I get it all Like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me I don't just get a dollar for a spot You're a tiny little drop of God's love, God's love How cool that I get it all Like a mighty waterfall splashing all over me I don't get less if I make a mess I never get less than this very, very best This love for me is totally Good morning from Mrs. K. Today we have another story from the Bible. This story is about what Jesus saw when he stood in the temple by the boxes people used to give money to God. The temple is a bit like the church is now. Two small coins for God. A very rich man came into the temple with a big bag of money. He was putting it all into the donation box as a gift to God. He was really, really pleased with himself and he hoped that everyone was going to notice how much money he was putting into the box. He jingled it really loudly as he went. It was such a lot of money and he made a big show of it. It was very easy for the rich man to give lots of money 
He had plenty of money to spend, and he could buy anything he wanted. The rich man had lots more money at home. Then Jesus saw a poor little lady quietly drop two tiny coins into the donation box. She didn't have much money, but she loved God very much. The poor lady had no more money to give. She could have kept it for herself. She gave her money with a heart of thankfulness and love. Jesus said, this poor lady has given more than all the rich people. The rich people gave only a little bit of their money, but this lady gave everything she had to God. God loves the way we give to him. He wants us to give because we love him, not so that others can see how rich we are and think that we are so important. Today we've been thinking about generosity and how we can be generous. So what I've done is I found five five pound notes on Google and I've written on each one something that I could be generous with. So I've written time, money, energy, skills and food. Now what I'm going to do is ask God to help me be generous with these things. So. Lord, thank you um, that we can be generous and you are so generous to us. Help me to be more generous um, with my time, with my money, with my energy, with my skills and with my food. Um, today and for the rest of my life. Amen. Hello again from Mrs K. In our story today, the lady gave two small coins to God, but that was all that she had. And God knew that was all she had and knew that it meant a lot to give those two small coins. And in many ways, that was far more than a rich man who just gave a small amount compared to the amount he had, even if it was hundreds of pounds. Think today, how you can be generous to others in this coming week. So it might only still be little presents, but if you gave someone a present that was half of your pocket money, that's quite a significant amount to you. Or if you've got a few toys and you can share them. Or maybe you can share your time and help people. So think of different ways, either with money, with your toys, with your time that you can be generous this week. It's not how much you give, but it's the attitude you give. Have a good week.
Somewhere in the middle